If you have been dealing with MAME for as long as I have, chances are you have run across a ROM that just doesn't want to run. There can be several reasons for this. The ROM can be a bad ROM, it is only compatible with a certain version of MAME, or it requires additional files to make it run. You could in fact scour the internet in search of a working one, but that could take a lot of time. I think I have a better solution, and it's called CLR MAME Pro, and so I've created this video to help you set it up. Now before we jump into CLR MAME Pro, there are a few things we need to discuss as this will help dispel any confusion involved in this process. If you are unfamiliar with MAME and have not checked out our previous video on decoding MAME, click the video located at the top right hand corner as there are some things you need to know before going this route. MAME ROMs are contained in compressed files that aren't required to be unpacked. If we take a look at what's inside the compressed ROM file, we see a file set. Every time you run a ROM from a MAME emulator, the program will run a check on those file sets. Over time, new updates, renames, and fixes to a bad dump will occur, which means the latest version of MAME will add these new changes and you may find a ROM that worked in one version of MAME is not working in the other. Now you could physically download the updates or fixes for the latest version of MAME, manually get rid of the bad or updated ROM sets, add the new ones, and rename the ones that are required. But here's the thing. You would have to do this to your entire ROM collection. That doesn't sound so exciting, does it? This is where CLR MAME Pro comes in as it can do all the work for you. It is important to note that CLR MAME Pro is designed to work with MAME's original file structure, and you will see just why this is important in a few. This is especially important if you plan to use a multi-emulator program like RetroArch to use MAME. In order to update ROMs to the latest version, you will need to grab the update pack. If you recalled in the previous video, I mentioned that if you are a version behind, you will need to get both the previous update and the latest update to make sure all your ROMs are up to date. Remember, it doesn't matter if you are one version behind or 10 versions behind. You must have every version since the version you missed or you will potentially miss an important update from one of your ROMs. It is recommended that you create a folder for each version of your updates. Updates can also carry newly added ROMs as well, so just keep this in mind. Just one more warning before we get started. Before you use CLR Main Pro, you may want to make a backup of the ROMs that you have as changes can occur that you may not be happy with. So let's go ahead and grab the program and install it. I've added the link in the description box below. Click on the download button. For this example, I'll be using the 32-bit Windows version and doing a manual install using the zip file. Now I'm only going to use one ROM as an example so you get the gist of how the program works. As you can see, CLR Main Pro has a set of instructions for you to follow before we start. First, we'll create a profile for our latest version of MAME, then we'll set up the paths for the updates and the ROMs, and finally, we'll do a scan. The program will immediately take us to the profile window. Click on the Create button. Click on the button with the dots next to File Name. This will bring up our file manager. You want to click on the executable file of your latest main version. For this example, I'm using the version 204. Once you type in a description, hit create profile. This will close out the window. It's up to you if you want to create a separate directory for your profile. I'm okay with having it under Profiles, so I'll hit OK. This will take us back to the main menu, and you will now see the created profile. Double click on the profile. This will bring up a new window. CLR Main Pro needs to update the new database from the latest build of MAME. Allow it some time to scan. During the process, they may ask you if you want to import software lists. If you are not using MESS with MAME, this is nothing you have to worry about. You may get some additional messages along the way. If you come across one, just click yes to all so that the scan can complete. Once the scan is finished, you will now be in the main menu of CLR Main Pro. Next, we will go to the settings to target our ROM and update paths. The first thing we'll need to do is select the ROM path of our main folder. Click the add button. The browse window will appear so that you can target the folder. 
Next, we will want to target our updates folder. Clicking the arrow next to the wrong path will create a drop down menu. Choose Add Paths. This time we'll look for the update folder within the browser. If you have all your updates for the different versions of MAME, you can add them all at once. Once you have targeted all the necessary folders, you can close the window and it will automatically save. Now we want to scan our ROM to make sure there are no issues and update it as well. To do this, we'll click on the scanner option. For the first section titled you want to scan, click ROMs and sets. It is recommended that you scan CHDs and samples separately as updating them requires that you do some things differently. More on that later. Next, we'll head down to the lower left section and click on the All button. This will check all the boxes for both checking and fixing ROMs. The You Prefer option lets you choose the type of ROM sets you have. Hopefully you watched the initial video about decoding MAME and you know what you have. The ROM I'm scanning is part of a split set. No changes need to be made in the Advanced and Log File options. In the Systems option, you will want to click on the Auto Assign button. This will target our ROM path folder to scan any possible system BIOS files that are available. Next, we'll go into the Hash and CHD option to turn on the Run Analysis and Fix File. There's nothing to worry about in the Statistics option. Now we are ready to scan. Click on the New Scan and let CLR Main Pro work its magic. You may be prompted if the program comes across certain files that it wants to add, remove, or fix. It's up to you if you want to say yes to everything or look at each prompt separately. The program does have a tendency to sometimes add files you don't necessarily need, so I just want to make you aware of this. The application has picked up the ROM I'm trying to update and is asking me if I want to add the missing ROM. I'll say yes to all three and the program will continue scanning. Once the scan is complete, we will get the stats of our scan. CLR MAME Pro scans the entire inventory of MAME titles, and to be honest, I don't even have close to the astronomical amount of titles available. As you can see, it'll give you a rundown of anything that is missing or was wrong. If something did in fact go wrong, we could look for our ROM through the scan results and get additional details by clicking on it and go into the Set Information button. Here you can find out about the parent ROM and what may be missing. We can check to see if the game is working, but there is one more option I want to talk about. Now there was a much faster way to update the ROM without scanning, but I wanted to give you the overall rundown of the program. The Rebuilder option would have updated the ROM since we already had the files available, but the Scanner option just does this for you automatically. There is of course a lot more to the Rebuilder option than meets the eye, so let's take a quick look at it anyway. Underneath the Source option, the first thing we'll need to do is click the Use Add Paths option. The ROM path is already selected as the destination folder. Now here is something you may want to consider. For the Merge option, you can actually choose to transform your split sets into non-merged or merged files and vice versa. If you plan to convert your sets, you may be in for a long wait time, so just bear this in mind. Seeing as I don't have the entire set available, and I prefer split sets anyway, I will stay on the split option. If you want to change your compression files to WinRIR or 7-zip extension, you can do so here. If you want to use these options, the program that uses them will need to be installed. The Systems option is the same as the one in the scanner. Just click on Auto Assign to target the ROMs path. Because we already did it, there's no need to do it now. Once that is done, you can click on Rebuild and let it go to work. Once it is completed, you will get back a status report and you are basically all finished. Open main and check the ROM and see if it works and you're good to go. Now, on the topic of CHDs. Unlike ROMs, CHDs only get renamed or removed entirely and if I'm correct, you can only use the scanner to do this. You will also have to manually move the updated CHDs into the ROMs folder. If you are updating with more than one version, it is recommended that you move the oldest version of CHDs over first. If at any time during this process, Windows asks you to overwrite a file, decline it, 
scan in whatever CHDs you have already moved, and repeat this process for each version you update. It is recommended that you go through the same steps if you are updating samples as well. You can uncheck everything except for CHDs to speed up this process, but on your final scan, it is recommended that you recheck the ROM and samples. And that is pretty much it. It may definitely take a few times with the program before you really get the hang of it, but at least this video is always here as a reminder, so don't hesitate to come back for a refresher. For now, this is Decor, your entertainment techie, signing out.